don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining. So now that we have weather, it is a true backpacking trip. Good morning. It is Sunday and this is day three of our hike. We probably will do about eight or eight to ten miles today. That would leave us with just a couple tomorrow to get back to the cars and get back on the road. But, uh, don't know if you can hear it, but it's raining. So now that we have weather, it is a true backpacking trip. All right. Let's get going. Well, I wanted to share something with you that I learned this morning. You know, word of advice is always, always be learning your equipment, no matter how much you've used it, no matter how, how many times you've used it. Uh, there's always something there to teach you. So yesterday when I set up my duplex, any tent that's erected with trick and clothes would have the same lesson for me. But um, when I set up my tent yesterday, I noticed that the vestibule doors on one side wouldn't close. It was just something was wrong with them, and I was concerned that maybe I'd done something and damaged my tent. And, uh, but and I knew it was going to rain, so I was a little concerned about the vestibule being open just a little bit. I started packing my gear this morning, preparing to leave. I saw this the problem. So. If you look right there, there's a pocket that's on the inside here. That's where the head of your trekking pole goes. Look right into this pocket, and it holds it in place. Now, you can see this, this trekking pole is on the outside of this door of my vestibule, and that is what was holding it apart. It should have been on the inside and up there. So let me show you this side. This is what light looks like. You can see there's the pocket and that's where the trekking pole is setting up and these doors are right. It's hard to see it because I've pulled it so tight but this door is pulled open and that allows the rain to come in on the side a little bit. I didn't get wet, but had it been a driving rain, I would have, and uh, that would have been a major mistake. So, lesson learned. Next time, I'll make sure that my pole is in that pocket. All right, I'm all packed up. The rain is still coming, but it's time to get on the road. No matter how many times you use your equipment, uh, you can always admit when something's not right, check it. If it doesn't look right, doesn't feel right, check it. If something's wrong. And uh, it's usually not the equipment. It's operator error. We can blame the equipment, but eventually we need to look back to ourselves and say, no, I did that. So, yep, I did that. Well, it's like a emerald green forest out through here. Really pretty. Rain, but the rain I'm finding out didn't stop the spiders from doing their business, so I'm still breaking down some spider webs as I silk blaze through the trail. It's raining, although right now it's sort of lightened up some, but it's been raining since about two o'clock. Um, that's okay. I don't mind it sort of cools me down on the walk if you ever run in the rain it was always fun and uh, just felt like I could run further I don't know if I could I probably still you know a quarter of a mile I probably got to win but uh years ago I loved to run 
uh, especially when we were stationed in Germany. Uh, my boss and I would run from where we lived over to a neighboring village, which was about five miles away. Stop in at a pub, have a pint, and then run back. Uh, great days, great memories. But uh, yeah, we had a good night last night. Slept well. Heard uh, I heard the beast of the land of the lakes hooping it up last night, Brad. Uh, but then I did hear an owl later, and then I heard the beast answer the owl, which I think. I think the beast has feathers. I think the beast uh, comes out at night. And uh, truth be told, I think the beast is an owl. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, it's starting to rain again. So we'll see if I can keep recording. Got another spider web. Plan is I'll go three miles here by myself and then I'll wait on the others to come along. They were still breaking camp when, when I left. It's good to have you with me this morning. We will keep on going, and then tomorrow morning, I think we'll have just a very short hike, maybe just a couple of miles. Oh, and Brad, I was also going to say, you know, I'm not doing the 50 50 50 challenge, but uh, I think. By the looks of this trail, I might have to do a hike swim challenge because I might have to swim portions of this trail. <laughs> Not really, but uh, it is wet in spots. All right, enough of me. Let's get on the trail. First regrouping after three miles. And now Dan and I are on the road again. I think Dan's back there somewhere. Yep, back there. All right. So uh, we are going to get the spider off my hat. Don't like spiders. Yep, rain has stopped. It's cool, great walking weather, but uh, I'm a little stiff from getting started again. So, pardon my grunt. I've been wanting to share something with you. Uh, when we get to hiking, like we've done it for a little while. We, start adjusting how we're doing things. When I first started, the old saying, you know, we, we pack our fears. Uh, my fear has always been water. I figure I can get by with less food, but when it comes to water, uh, I drink a lot of water. <laughs> so when I first started hiking, I would put two one liter smart bottles in the side pockets of my backpack. And I thought that whenever I was thirsty, it would force me to, to take a break and I would drop my backpack and get my water and I'd put it back. And that worked for a while. But then I started getting to the point where I wanted to keep walking, but I also wanted to get a drink. And uh, so then Hilltop Packs, they made this bottle holder that goes on my shoulder strap. 
and it, it's perfect for a 700 milliliter smart bottle. It has two Z clamps, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then they put a plastic strap with a couple of snaps on it that hold it in place. And this has been the first hike that I've used this and I really like it. So I just wanted to share that one with you. This we're talking about gear, new gear. It's made out of a Dyneema. It's very light. Uh, doesn't add any weight to my pack, but it puts the water bottle more accessible. So now I'm hiking with one one liter and then one smaller 700 milliliter bottle. And so far, it is working well for me. So I'll keep testing it out and seeing, seeing how it goes. All right, enough, enough talking. Let's get on the path. walking along the shoreline. Okay, so here is my view for the last night on the north to south land of the lakes trail. I can do this. This is beautiful. Maybe I'll try to get a sunset for you tonight. I've almost gained my heavenly home. My spirit loudly sings Behold the holy ones they come I hear the noise of wings Oh 